Nino Marola, uh, it's been quite a good uh, year for you, um, tennis-wise, coming in the back of the season with the wins at the Category A and the MVP at the Super League. How do you reflect on your season so far? I, mean, I think you summed up well. Uh, I finished strong. Those two events both happened within uh, two and a half weeks of one another, so I was in a rich vein of form. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the British Open. I haven't travelled much this year, uh, so a bit unknown at the moment is how I feel. You mentioned the British Open where you, you famously got a set off Cam in both the singles and the doubles. Yeah. What kind of a memory is that for you? I mean, it's one that Cam's not going to be able to scrub from the record books, which, uh, you know, regardless of any other circumstances, which I won't mention, you know, uh, taking a set off Cam in the singles is great and being able to play through doubles with, with Henry was brilliant. Um, you know, a, a member at Radley and someone that I've you know, had a hand in teaching over the last few years and thought he played brilliantly really announced himself on the scene doubles wise and we actually won I think two matches we shouldn't have won technically before we reached Cam and Tim and then uh, yeah seeing the first set off them once again another 6-5 is a nice feeling. Uh, you've not travelled much you've been based primarily in the UK this year is that something that's in the works for, for the future is it still going to be UK based? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I'd like to think that this season coming, uh, at the very least, I've sorted myself out in time for the US and the US Pro Singles next season. Um, the French is unlikely to be one for me, uh, and the Australian also not something I'm going to be able to go to. Um, we've got some transitional stuff happening at Radley and helping out the Sydney club opening by Lone and Chris Ronaldson, and so I've got a bit more responsibility at the, at the club at Radley. Uh this is uh, your first entry into the Champions Trophy. What's it like playing? Going to be what's it going to be like playing in this tournament for the first time? Uh, well, I mean, I think we've got a tremendous group, um, and from my point of view, I've got to kind of look at that first. Uh, four of us in the group, four point eight to five point seven handicap. Uh, I've not played competitive tennis at RTC since a kind of ten to fifteen national league division a few years ago. Um, it's always been really nice to play here. I imagine the atmosphere. For this one's going to be much bigger than a lonely Thursday night National League match. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it should be should be really good. Um, how does the uh, I appreciate you haven't had your practice just yet, but how does the court influence your your style? Well, I I drove up here actually on on Wednesday morning. I had a really nice early morning practice by myself, and then a little hit with with Jack, who was kind of come on court and do some corners with me. Um, I mean, it's a bigger court. Famous if everyone knows it's a slightly wider court. Um, I mean, it cuts if you cut it. It spins off the back wall for serves so I think you can do quite a lot out here I don't think there's anything that just doesn't work on this court or anything that's too overpowered so I think it'll be you know a fairly open kind of set is it the only thing that anybody can do is going to be effective which is which is nice uh, you mentioned your your qualification group yeah uh, group of four you can throw a net over in terms of handicap yeah uh, how are you going to approach each of those matches uh well, uh, try and not to look any further past the first one. Um, I think I've got Vaughan up first, first thing tomorrow. Uh, I've never played Vaughan before, or if, it, if I did, it must have been a long time ago. I don't remember it. You ought to know better from the head-to-heads. Never played Vaughan. Yeah, good, that's fine. Uh, so I've never played Vaughan, but obviously he's, he's had a fantastic season uh, last year. I've no idea really what to expect from him as a player. I've watched a certain amount, um, but I don't know what he's going to serve here. I don't know quite how he's going to deal with my serves or my returns. So nine game set could be a bit testing you don't really have time to work it out too in depth so knowing when to move on from one idea and towards another is going to be a big part of that I think uh, and, and the other matches? Well after that I think we've got Lewis and Darren uh, Lewis obviously played kind of three times this season I think uh, all of them really close matches six fives in every single one I'm pretty sure in fact I think something like five of the seven sets we've played have been six fives uh, Darren and I haven't played since there was about a 25 handicap point difference between us or something like that and that was an annihilation Darren very much put me to the sword then so that'll be interesting as well I mean like I said this, they're, they're all so close to call I think anybody having a slightly better day than someone else could, could swing any one of them uh, and how do you see the main draw shaping up? Well, I mean, that's you know, still an unknown as far as I'm aware. The uh, who, which qualifier goes to meet which 5-6 seed is, is tricky. Uh, any one of the, well, I mean, any one of the seeds in the draw could have a good run and win it. Uh, I wouldn't really back myself to call any of the, the matches with any kind of degree of certainty. Um, you know, someone like Rob obviously is very, very dangerous, especially his three sets and you know, if he's if he's got himself up for this, he's very dangerous. I mean, Nicky's in a great vein of form. Ben's had a really good Newport, actually. You know, no John, no Camden here. 
uh, Brian is always dangerous. Leon, we've not seen. I mean, it's just it's just impossible to call. Steve can do whatever he wants on any given day. So I would, I've not put any money anywhere because I would not know where to guess. All right, fantastic. In Roller, best of luck in the tournament. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy it. Yes. Okay.